In this Game Guru video, we're going to show you a rather advanced topic, and it's about getting a model file and adding LOD to it automatically with free software. So if you see with the grenade ammo, which is a massive 7,000 polygon object for what is relatively a small object in the game, but that's the perfect candidate for turning into a LOD. So we can have LOD 1 and LOD 2, which basically means it'll use less polygons the further away it is from the camera. And this is how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. Well, it isn't, but I'll walk you through it. Um, you want to load in the X file into something called Asset Importer and export a Wavefront OBJ file into your Blender folder. Blender is one of the first pieces of software you install. It's free. Get it from Steam. It's called Blender. So once that's installed, you'll have a folder called Documents Blender and you can drop your OBJ into there. The next piece of software you're going to need is Simplygon. Simplygon is also free. It has a free version which allows you to convert one object, object at a time. So, as you see, I've already got pre-configured to open up in the Blender folder, load in the object file, and then what you need to do is create some LODs for it. And the quickest way to do that is go to Quick Start, select LOD Chain, reduce it so you're only showing 1 and 2, because we only want the original polygons and then two levels of LOD. So that's what we're going to choose. Then click the Process button. It will send your model off to the cloud. It'll squash it and reduce it do all that kind of cool stuff and then when it's happy with what it's done it'll give the option of downloading it off the cloud and then integrate it into your scene so we can actually view our, our results obviously it takes a varying amount of time based on how busy the cloud is and remember this is the free version so you're probably given a really ancient server so if you click import now it's actually infused this object with its LODs so you can use this button step through the LODs as you can see it's quite a heavy reduction here uh, at the top we've got 7300 halfway we've got 1100 and then at the very lowest 185 polygons so that's some great reduction there that'll really help us see and get faster and the final step is to go to save file save it as an FBX that's probably the best and make sure you give it the same name as the original OBJ file so you don't get lost. So then you can save that FBX file, which includes all them. The next thing you do is convert the FBX to an X file. And for that, we're going to use Blender. Uh, so Blender is available on Steam. It's free. You need to go, when you've installed it, go to User Preferences and activate the DirectX Export module. Once you've done that, you'll actually have the DirectX Export file here. But first we need to bring in... Uh, FBX file. So you load that in. You'll notice it's already got the three meshes for the three LODs already built in. Then all you need, need to do is go straight to, to DirectX export. It's already got the name for you. Click the export DirectX. Then we can go to our new folder and we can check out our new X file. As you can see, not only have you got the three meshes, but it's even named them for you LOD1 and LOD2. So now what you can do. Just take this X file and then put it into the. Yeah. Make sure that your original is preserved in case something goes wrong. Make sure that the name is identical to the original and now you've actually got it in. And it's even, even though it's like much bigger, that's because it's in a text file format. You can export it as a binary, which should be around the same size as this. Slightly bigger because you've got some more polygons squeezed in there. So that's how easy it is to take a model that only has one LOD and then generate many LODs for it and you can tweak all those stages along the way to get the perfect kind of LOD that you want. And then the engine takes care of it because once it finds that it's got underscore LOD1 and underscore LOD2 it will figure out that those are the other LODs for polygon reduction so when you play a game it only uses the polygons it absolutely needs to do. And as you can see that's the highest one. That medium one looks pretty cool. And then, of course, this box will be so far away, you won't really notice that these grenades have shattered. And, you know, if a grenade has shattered, you probably do want to be a long way away from it. So that's rather appropriate. So that's how it is. That's how you do it. Using a Simply Gone, Blender, Asset Importer, and Game Guru.